So Glenda, this is your uh, is your 60th birthday. 60th birthday. Oh my! Were you born in Toledo? Oh no, I was born in Rock, Arkansas. Oh my goodness! The Clintons were from around there somewhere, weren't they? Uh, yeah, Clinton is from Hot Springs, where my sister's living. Oh, oh. Hope in Hot Springs. Oh, as a matter of fact, I went to his presidential library while I was there. You did what? I went to Clinton's presidential library. Oh, how is that? Is that pretty interesting? Gorgeous. They had a, had a Dale Ch Chihuly uh, exhibit. No, it's Tom. Yeah, it's Tom. Chihuly? I've heard that name yeah, before. Yeah, he's, he's a glass artist. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Are you are you taking off? Oh, man. Well, I hope it was a little bit of fun. Good job, Chris. Thanks. You <laughs> work yeah, yeah. I wait another 20 years or whatever. <laughs> so then, what, what? Like when you were like real young, what did you think you wanted to be when you grew up? A singer. All the time? All the time. As a matter of fact, uh, my sister and I, we were laughing because I'd get the kids in the neighborhood together and we'd put on shows. Well, how old were you then? Nine. Is it ten, nine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd, we'd, they'd stand in the breezeway and then they'd come out on the carport when I'd call them. And I told them, really, that's just what I do at school. Oh. You know, get sign certain people certain things. It's, it's funny. So, um, did, did you play any instruments when you were younger? Or anybody in your house play instruments? Yes, uh, there was a lot of bluegrass being played. This was on our table. Oh, Linda. thank you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. A lot of fiddles or uh, banjos? No, just, or yeah, uh, fiddle, but mainly mandolin. guitar. Mainly just guitar. Guitar? Uh, yeah. So there was a lot of pickers and you uh, and horns too? No, no horns. Just pickers? Yeah. Oh, okay. A little bit of uh, back beat on something, wash tubs or... No, no, they didn't go that far. They just kind of play at reunion, family reunions and stuff like that. So do you remember the first song that you sang in front of people? Uh, like more than your relatives? Uh, what, what your first music you did? I started singing when I started, I got saved and when I was 12 years old in the Nazarene Church and I started I sang, I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary with a friend of mine, we did a duet. That's that's when I started singing. Oh. When I was 12. How many people were there? Was it in church? It was in church. So there was Sunday probably night. a lot of, a lot of people there. What year was this, do you think? Let's see, 54, 64, 66. 66. What, were you, were you still in Little Rock then? What kind of music were you listening to? You were at 66, Elvis Presley had been around. Yeah, well, when, when I started going to church, I just strictly listened to gospel music. I missed the whole Leonard Skinner and all that stuff. I just, I, I was really a gospel singer, and I just listened to gospel music. So, well, then some, I listened to some things like... Well, uh, somehow you got into jazz. How did you make the metamorphosis from gospel to jazz? Well, I... I uh, was going to the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, mm -hmm. and someone heard me sing and took me to a, meet a pianist out of Memphis named Charles Thomas, and he and a guitarist and bass player, Kenny, I forget Kenny's last name, he still plays in Denver now, but anyways, uh, and they, I sang for them, mm -hmm. and they, they wanted a singer, and they just taught me all these standards. Oh, oh I do have a, a, a question, a parenthesis in here that I'd like to, to, to talk to singers about. Do you have any idea how many songs that you know? No, I, they come and go. I've probably mm -hmm. learned hundreds, you know, but then mm -hmm. I'll drop them. When, when the Murphys, when we were on the road, you know, we, we sang in all different kinds of venues. So we learned country, we learned, all, we learned r and we were doing all different kinds well, how, of things. How do you do that? Do you, did you always have a good memory or, mm -hmm. did you, like in school, you were able to pass tests easy yeah. probably. <laughs> that, I found that when with I went to school. <laughs> a lot of, uh, 
So, oh, so did you? So did you go to school? Yeah, I did. But okay. I, I, my my senior year, I got a little bit wild and skipped a lot of school. Oh, hey, anyway. didn't seem to hurt you, did it? No, no, I'm all right. <laughs> I did, yeah. So, uh, so, so you're you're in college now. You're in hot college. And um, are you traveling a little bit? No, I was uh, just staying in, in Little Rock, going to school, singing with Charles Thomas. And there was an after hours club and uh, called the Afterthought. What, what did your folks think about an after hours club? Did they approve? Well, or, or you were all, all old enough then, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And because uh, I, I, I didn't start going to college until I was about 20 years old, anyways, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, Cliff Murphy was there at the After Hours Club, and he and Claude Black mm -hmm. were in Little Rock playing, uh, and they were doing a tour of the South, and uh, he, they heard me sing, and their singer had to get off the road because her child had to go to school. Mm -hmm. What was her name? Michelle. Michelle? She's Stanley Cow's niece. Okay. I forget Michelle's last name. So you, you stepped in? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so, you, so, so in. you're a hometown girl living in Little Rock all your life, right? Yeah. And then, then so, wh wh where did you go the first place? Did you get in a car or a bus or what did you uh, do? They, it was a right around Christmas. I did finished out my job at Christmas. They came up to Cleveland to do New Year's Eve. Then I met them in Nashville, Tennessee. That's when I met Claude. Okay. And Kermit. Mm -hmm. Kermit Walker and Claude Black, and then we were on the road for years, and I, that's who I sung with for years. And well, where did you do? Did you travel by car? Yeah, or mostly? yeah, yeah by So car. how many, like four people in the car? No, no, we, I had a car, they had the van, oh, Kermit okay. had a car, Claude rode with me a lot, or in the van, he'd sleep. Oh. We just went from town to town for years. Oh, what, what a life. It, yeah, it's a mess. You, it was really, really fun. You probably hardly knew anybody else except people in that business uh -huh. that that did that. You were probably one of the only girls that did that. Were there were there a few other girls that you met along then the I road? Met, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's all kinds of people on the road back in those days before, you know, disco really took So off. this was in the 70s probably, wasn't it? 80. Oh, in the 80s? 80. Okay. So, right, disco was taken off. In the late 70s, I think, in the 70s, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, and then I'm just, I'm here now, and I just uh, t teach school. I'm a school teacher, mm -hmm. and I don't sing very much out anymore. Oh. This is, so this is a treat. I don't do it very much. Well, we've caught you from time to time. <laughs> yeah, any, uh, so you've got, you've met Lauren, and you've met Ross, and Atla, and uh, Matt, so you know a lot of the up-and-coming Artist. Yeah. We're, we're, Not Matt and Atla. No, oh, you don't know, know Matt them, and Atla? Okay. Uh, but I know Ellie and her husband, Dr. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, I know a few people, but not many. Well, good. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good. Okay, so we'll put this on YouTube and uh, be a nice interview. Thank you, Nice sir. meeting you. Nice